Today we're going to learn how to use images inside Bootstrap because when it comes to Bootstrap, we have a lot of nice features we can add into images that makes them responsive or maybe gives them some kind of cool effects. So inside my website here, as you guys can see, I have a very basic Bootstrap website. I have the necessary links. I have a style sheet that I included myself so I could actually go inside the styling and change it. And I went ahead and created three different columns down here inside my body tag. Now what you guys will notice is I did actually went ahead and styled these columns so we could actually see them inside the browser. And yes, I know right now it's actually kind of small to look at, but this is the actual size that I decided for the text and the colors. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to go ahead and take these columns here and I'm going to go ahead and add another row underneath it. And I'm going to go ahead and insert an image inside the middle column we have in here. So I'm going to go ahead and change the text inside the second row we have here. As you guys can see, when I do actually refresh, you guys can see we get two more columns or two more rows inside the website. The middle row doesn't have any kind of content inside of it, meaning that right now we don't actually get any kind of height inside the middle column. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and say we have an image like so. And right now the image is inside my root folder, as you guys can see right here inside an image folder called test.jpg. So I'm going to go ahead and refer to this one. If you guys want to download the image, you can go ahead and find the image in the description of this video. So I'm going to go ahead and say we have an image folder forward slash test dot JPEG like so. If I insert it inside the browser and refresh, you guys can see we get a very, very big image. So we need to actually resize this image in order to make it look somewhat like it should. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here in order to resize the image is I'm not going to go inside my style sheet. I'm actually going to go ahead and use the bootstrap function that actually resizes the image according to the containers inside of. So what I can do here is I can go inside my image tag and add a class called image responsive. So I'm going to say image dash responsive like so. And if I were to refresh the browser, you guys can see that now it actually fits the actual width or the height of the actual content we have it inside of. Now, if you guys ask about why there's a bit of spacing in between or in between the, the image and the browser, as you guys can see, the text up here also have a spacing and that's because we have a default margin or default padding when it comes to these elements inside Bootstrap. So if you want to change this, you're going to have to go inside the styling yourself and actually remove the actual padding. So let's actually see what it is. If I go inside the image here, we get a padding around the actual column. So we need to actually go inside our styling and say we want to remove this padding if you want to. Now, just to show you guys that we can actually remove the padding from this image here, we can actually go into the style sheet and go inside the class that the image is inside of and change the padding of this class. Now, one thing you guys will notice is that when we do actually set the padding to zero, it doesn't actually change the actual styling inside the website because if I refresh the browser, you guys can see nothing happens. Now, there's two ways we can fix this because first of all, Bootstrap right now is actually going inside our code and overriding our default styling CSS. And the way we can change that is by going inside our styling, say exclamation mark, important, right after the actual styling, refresh the browser, and as you guys can see, now the padding goes away and the image is actually all the way from left to right. Now, this is not really the optimal way to do this though. So if I go back inside my styling, change the code, refresh the browser, so it goes back to normal again, I can go inside my index file and go to the top where I included the style sheet because right now, because the style sheet is the first thing inside my index file, it's going to read the style sheet that we wrote and then afterwards it's going to overwrite the code with the bootstrap code down here. So if we want to do this the proper way, I can delete the style or the link to the style sheet, go underneath the bootstrap code and paste in the style sheet. So if I go back and refresh, you guys will notice that now it changes again. Of course, right now, you guys can see that this is the center up here also changed. And that's because it also has the styling as center inside the style sheet. Of course, bear that in mind when you make your own website. So let's actually go ahead and remove this styling again, because I don't want the image to go all the way from left to right, like so. I just want to show you guys when we do actually change the size of the browser, it does actually, you know, resize the image according to the container. Going back into our code, we can go ahead and add some cool effects to this image here. So if you guys want something to look like a thumbnail, or if you want it to look like, you know, a circle, then you can go ahead and do that using Bootstrap rather than going into your style sheet and do it manually. So what I can do is I can actually go inside my image. I'm just going to go ahead and resize this so we can actually see the entire image inside the code. And I'm going to go ahead and add a class to this image here. 
Now the first class we're going to add is going to be called image-rounded, which right now if I were to actually change the image or just refresh the browser, you guys can see that we get this rounded corner up in the top and the bottom corners. So this is just some kind of way to add rounded corners, which is the border radius that we can add inside the styling in CSS to images without having to actually do it inside the CSS. Now this is doing it the bootstrap way. If you wanted to do it the CSS way, you can do that as well. Again, we're going into the concept of bootstrap being a way to add classes to your HTML content in order to change up the content inside the browser instead of having to style everything yourself. So going back inside our bootstrap image down here, let's actually go ahead and change it from image rounded to image circle. And now what you guys will notice is that the image becomes a circle. It just cuts away the borders. And again, the only thing it does here is that it changes the border radius to something much bigger than the actual image size, meaning that it's always going to be rounded inside the image. So it's just messing around the border radius again. Now, the last one we can do here is something a bit more special than just changing the border radius is we can actually go ahead and say we want to have a thumbnail. So instead of having image circle, we can actually go ahead and say we have image thumbnail like so. And now what you guys will notice is we get this thumbnail effect inside the image. So we get this little border up here that's white that, you know, looks like a thumbnail that you can actually click on and then open up the image in some kind of smaller window. Now, the last thing I want to show you guys regarding images inside Bootstrap is that we can also use Bootstrap to create galleries. So if we were to actually delete the first row we have inside our code, which is just the text up here that says left side, center, right side, like so, we can actually go ahead and insert the middle image and just copy it inside the other two divs we have inside the code. So right now I have three different images, well, three of the same images inside my code. And as you guys can see, now we get this repeated image inside our browser. If I were to change the layout, so we go out into regular website mode or desktop mode, we do get this gallery looking thing. Of course, right now the center also has a styling in it that says the background color should be this color. Let's go ahead and remove that. And now you guys can see we get a gallery going on inside the website. Of course, we could also add text to these images. So if I were to say the image, I'm just gonna go and move it down so it looks somewhat nice, like so. So we have the image here. I can go ahead and add a paragraph underneath the image and say, this is an title or a title, like so. And now you guys will see if you get some kind of title to the image. So creating a gallery inside Bootstrap is also very simple to do. So this is all I want to show you guys in this episode. In the next episode, we're gonna talk about how to do kind of the same thing, but using videos instead. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.